We want to solve two problems from algebra, part 1, this approximation, and part 2, problem 21 of AMC 8 2017. We want to consider ideas of these two problems. If you want to solve more problems, want to learn more ideas, feel free to send a message, my WhatsApp number in the description. Here we want to have approximate root 1 to 5 minus root 1 to 3. So I want to change it to plus and you will see why. Something similar to uh, rationalizing. But when you rationalize, you want to get rid of square root in the denominator. Here we want to change it to plus. How? I write this number 1 to 5 minus 1 to 3 and I multiply this by 1 to 5 plus square root of 1 to 3 over square root of 1 to 5 plus square root of 1 to 3. This fraction is 1, so when we multiply by this, it has no effect, and they are equal. Numerator, it will be what? So, first thing that we use something similar to rationalizing, and idea 2 is what? Same as identity and basic. a squared minus b squared is a minus b, times a plus b. We have similar factorization for a n minus b n. Try to find this. This one has homework. And homework one and comment your answers right below this video. So in numerator, if we use this identity, it will be root 1 to 5 squared minus root 1 to 3 squared. All over root 1 to 5 plus root square root of 1 to 3. If you simplify, numerator will be 1 to 5 minus 1 to 3 over square root of 1 to 5 plus square root of 1 to 3. 1 to 5 minus 1 to 3 is 2 over square root of 1 to 5 plus square root of 1 to 3. Now I consider the denominator equals, for example, a. a is the square root of 1 to 5 plus square root of 1 to 3. When we have square root, uh, one way or nth root, one approach is to raise to the power of 2, for example, here. Or if it is nth root, one approach is to raise to the power of n. Here, if we raise to the power of 2, it will be what? Idea 1, idea 2, idea 3, idea 4. a plus b squared will be a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Now, if we apply this identity here, it will be what? a squared is the square root of 1 to 5 plus square root of 1 to 3. Whole squared. So it will be what if we apply identity 4? First one squared, which is 1 to 5, plus second one squared, which is 1 to 3, plus 2 times. 1 to 5 times 1 to 3. Now here, we can say 1 to 5 plus 1 to 3 is 2, 4, 8. Plus 2 times 1 to 5, I write it as 1 to 4 plus 1. And 1 to 3 is 1 to 4 minus 1. So I can write this one as 2, 4, 8 plus 2 times square root of 1 to 4 squared minus 1. Now I want to see a squared is between which two numbers. I can say a squared, which is equal to 2, 4, 8 plus 2 times square root of 1, 2, 4 squared minus 1 is less than 2, 4, 8 plus 2 times the square root of 1, 2, 4 squared. I ignore negative 1, so it will be less than this. So it will be 2, 4, 8 plus 2 times 1 to 4. So it will be 2, 4, 8 plus 2, 4, 8. And it will be 4, 9, 6. In next step, I want to see it is greater than what? a squared, again, is 2, 4, 8 plus 2 times 1 to 4 squared minus 1. It's greater than 2, 4, 8 plus 2 times 1, 2, 3 squared. So obviously this one, is greater than this one. And it will be 2, 4, 8 plus 2 times 1, 2, 3. 
So it will be 248 plus 246, which is 4449. Four, 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 so we can conclude a squared is greater than 494 and less than 496 here. Greater than 494 and less than 496. Now in next step, we can say a is greater than which integer, positive integer, and less than what? We know 24, 2 squared is 484. 23 squared is uh, 529. So we can say a is greater than 22 because a squared is greater than this. So a squared is greater than 484. So a is greater than 22. A squared less than 23 squared 529 less than 496. Uh, sorry, less than this. So it will be less than this one. So it's less than 23. Now we want to approximate what? Here, 2 over 8. This one is a. Let's see it will be what? 2 over a here will be less than 2 over 22 and greater than 2 over 23. 2 over 22 is 1 over 11. Now, let's divide 1 by 11. So it will be 0 point, we add 1, 0. Again, 0, we add 1, 0, and 9 times 11, 99. You can say 1, 10, again 0, and you can continue. Again, 0 and 9, and so on. So it will be 0 0.0909, and so on. Something like this, 2 over A. And 2 over 23 is what? 2 over 23. We add this, and it will be 0. Again, 0, 0. So... 6, 8. 8 times 3, 24. We have 2, 8 times 2, 16, plus 2, 18. So we have 16, 0, and then we can say 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, it will be 6. 6 times 3, 18. We have 1, 6 times 2, 12 plus 1, 13, and it will be 2, 5, 2. Okay, so. It is greater than 0 0.086 and something else. Now, we can say 2.a is greater than 0 0.086 because when it is greater than this, it is also greater than this, less than. We can say 0, 0.0. Okay, we can, for example, write 0, 0.091, okay? Because it's less than this, it is also less than this because this one is greater than this one. Now in next step, I want to approximate 2 over a. I say, okay. I can say it's 0, 0.0. And here it's 86. Okay, if you round up this one, then it will be 9. If a number is less than, is greater than or equal, 0, 0.085. And less than 0, 0.095. Then we can say the approximation. Let's write like this, the approximation is 0 0.09. Okay, so it is our approximation, and we've considered how many ideas? One, two, three, four ideas. If you want to learn other important ideas, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Now let's work on part two AMC problem. Suppose A, B, C are non-zero real numbers and A plus B plus C is zero. What are the possible values for this? So at first, let's consider X over absolute value of X is what? And X is not zero because if X is zero, denominator will be zero. And also the problem says A, B, C are non-zero real numbers. And so product is also non-zero real number. For this part, if X is positive, let me consider this then it will be x over x it will be 1 if x is negative it will be x over negative x it's negative 1 so only it's important to see x is positive or negative now here we know a plus b plus c equal to 0 and we don't have any they are non-zero real numbers so we should have both negative and positive so what are the cases we can have two positives without lots of generality because the problem is symmetric 
With respect to ABC, we can have two positives, one negative or one positive, two negatives. In this case, let's see this part will be what? A over absolute value of A is positive. We said when it's positive, it's one. B over absolute value of B is one. C over absolute value of C because it's negative, it's negative one. ABC is positive times positive times negative, negative. So this one will be negative one. So plus one, plus one, minus one, minus one, zero. Next case, so here we can reject choice B, we can reject choice C, we can, okay. We could only reject these two choices. For this one, A over A, this one, is what? One. B over B, negative one, is negative. C over C, absolute value of C, negative one. ABC is positive. Because positive times negative times negative, positive. So ABC over absolute value of ABC is positive one. So one minus one, zero, minus one plus one, zero, again zero. So the answer is choice A. If you want to learn other ideas, want to solve harder problems, and let me also tell you a homework, another homework here. One homework was this one, A n minus B n factorization is what? Homework two. And comment your answers right below this video. Homework two is this. You can say A plus B plus C plus D is zero. Then A over absolute value of A plus B over absolute value of B. C over absolute value of C plus D over absolute value of D plus mm, you can consider again A, B, C, D over absolute value of A, B, C, D. Exactly. Solve this problem again. A, B, C, D are real, non-zero real numbers. What are the possible values for this? Okay, find all possible values of this and comment. As I said, comment your answers right below this video. And as I said, there are around 40, 50 important ideas in each topic, combinatorics, algebra, number theory, and geometry. If you want to learn them, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. And please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification. Thanks. Bye.